let's get introduced to web service what is web service web service is a software system that is it consists of collection of programs this software system mainly supports interoperable machine to machine transfer over internet in other words web service is a web application which can publish its functions or message to the rest of the world anyone who wants to make use of this message can use the same whenever web service publishes it the next question which comes into mind on hearing web service is why to go about web service as we know web has become an integral part of business there are very few business which don't make use of web many present day business interactions requires diverse components interaction among diverse component is a major driving force for many businesses let's take an example of aircraft reservation in which the aircraft reservation software has to deal with money transferring or e-commerce sites like paypal for transfer of money similarly it has to be in contact with a payment system which will decide the price of the ticket on particular day one possible solution to this problem is to make a software which will handle all these things but making a single software handle all these things will cause performance problems as well as will become a nightmare for maintenance also the reusability factor of the software is affected hence for success of such business communication across various diverse components is required web service provides a way to connect to existing software as well as it allows to make reusable software thus we use web service whenever we want to make use of existing system to make a new software or to make a new complete software which can be reused in future one more important question which comes into mind is why to go particularly to web service when a web application can also do the same as told earlier web service is also a web application but a special type of web application using web service we will be able to achieve transparency with respect to programming languages and operating system if we have a simple web application then this web application will be able to talk to other web application if both of them belong to the same programming language category they will not be able to talk in case they belong to different programming language for example a jsp servlet web application cannot directly talk to a asp.net web application this problem is solved by using web service which enables communication across diverse components even with respect to programming language as well as operating system transparency some of the important facts about web service are as follows it involves diverse application components which may be developed in different programming language and which may be deployed in different operating systems since communication among diverse application is required it is done by using open protocols open protocols are protocols which are agreed by most of the programming languages as a standard each web service is self contained and self describing web services are described by using web service description language which is an xml we will see more about it in coming slides and since interoperability has to be ensured xml is used next let's understand the basic concepts 
pertaining to web service. In the case of web service, two things which come to our mind is service provider as well as service consumer. Service provider is a person who provides service and service consumer is a person who wants to make use of service given by the service provider. The service provider is also known as producer. Some of the important questions which comes in our mind on seeing this above model is how can the service provider and service consumer communicate with each other since both of them can have different programming language and different operating system how it is possible for both of them to communicate the second question is how to search for services a single service can be offered by more than one service provider how does the service consumer come to know about various service providers the third question is how do service provider register their service the first question which we came across was how does service provider and service consumer communicate service provider and service consumer communicate with each other with the help of soap soap stands for simple object access protocol which is a protocol used by service provider and service consumer in the web service model soap is a communication protocol it also has a format for sending messages it is based upon xml thus the diversity of the application components cannot cause problem while communicating since it is based upon xml the two important points to note about soap is it makes communication platform independent as well as programming language independent the next two questions which are pending are how does the service consumer search for services and how does service provider register what all service he can provide let's see the first question how to search for services to enable searching of services we have uddi which stands for universal description and discovery integration uddi is basically a directory service which stores web service interfaces web service interfaces indicate what all services the service provider can provide since the interfaces are separated from the implementation the implementation can be changed as long as the interface is not affected now to the second question how do providers register their service to allow registration of service service provider makes again use of uddi each service provider has wsdl which is web service description language web service description language is an xml which is used for locating as well as describing web service whenever the service provider starts and wants to expose a service he will create a wsdl and store the same in uddi whenever the service consumer wants to search it will be able to do the same with the help of uddi as we have understood the individual components let's see how all of them fit together in a web service communication whenever a service consumer wants a service it will contact the uddi which will contain description of various web service interfaces uddi gets this information from the service provider who will register all of this whenever he wants to expose service once the service consumer gets wsdl it will be able to contact the service provider and once connection between service provider and service consumer is established both of them can communicate to each other with request and response 
with the use in XML that is WSDL. Thus, both of them will be able to talk to each other as per the WSDL. Thus, both request and response are guided by the definitions which are made in WSDL. Since we are clear with the concepts of web service, let's see how to get started with web service in Java.